हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल नो अबाउट व्हाट आर ट्रांसपोर्ट द मूविंग ऑफ गुड्स और कार्गो और पीपल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर बाय वाटर वेज दैट इज सेलिंग ओवर वाटर बॉडीज लाइक ओशियन सी रिवर और लेक दैट इज बाय बोट्स और शिप्स इज नोन एज वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट पर हैप्स द फर्स्ट बोट वॉज अ प्लैंक ऑफ वुड एंड सिटिंग ऑन इट वॉज नॉट फियर टू फॉलोइंग डाउन आफ्टर दैम many planks were joined to make a platform or a large base later on man learned to make a hole with an axe and after that it was shaped like boat the people of mesopotamia now iraq made boats using expanded skin of animals egyptians even today use sarkande and bundles of grass tied together for making something like a raft fixed on boats or ships in vertical wooden frame which is covered with thick cloth is called mast egyptians used mast on their boat it helps to move the boat forward with with the pressure of air in the direction of wind soon size of boat became larger and with the help of it the speed of boat also increased these large sized boats were called ships these ships were used as war ships many people are required to row ships for using oars these war ships are fitted with ram a sharp pointed front that can drill a hole in the enemy ship waterways for a long time ships are being used for trade 1200 years ago arab merchants came in kerala in india by ships called dho they reached in india in the rainy season with the help of stormy monsoon winds british were the first in the world to build a shipyard many books were written on the manufacturing of ships guns were installed in warships european ships were the best in the world they conquered and ruled over many countries by trade and war and they established there about 180 years ago Iron was used in manufacturing of ships in place of wood. There was no further requirements of wood because propellers were used in ships in place of oars. By 1875, steel replaced iron by solving the problem of rusting. Various facilities were provided on ships and large sea ports were constructed. At that time, Titanic was the largest ship in the world. It sank in the sea on its very first voyage from hampton england to new york america it had collided with a large iceberg out of 2207 passengers on board only 703 survived huge modern ships are like the cities floating on water well equipped with all facilities queen elizabeth ii a massive ship carries thousand of tourist passengers to enjoy in holiday on sea it is called ocean liner jet aircrafts can take off from warship docks one warship can carry more than 50 aircrafts at a time some ships supply the oil from one country to another these are called tankers a tanker can carry 1 crore barrel oil at one time The size of these tankers can be as large as the 15 tennis courts. Submarine. It is a ship which can be float and dive on the water or in the depths of the sea. Its shape is like a capsule and it called submarine. Submarine is used to destroy enemy's warships and aircrafts. The first submarine was made in USA about 105 years ago. Nowadays submarines are operated by atomic power it may be operated under water for 2 years the coastal countries in europe use a new type of vehicle which can run on both land and water which is called hovercraft